Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Day. I'm an intuitive card reader, just bringing some messages that want to be heard. This is a 18 plus pick a card reading of what your body wants to say to you. What does your body crave in intimate partnerships? What do you desire that maybe is beyond the perception of what we have been taught? How does this go throughout lifetimes? And how does this apply now to the intimate partnerships that you are seeking after doing the spiritual work, after coming home to yourself, after doing the work on attachment patterns and really starting to understand what it is that you truly desire in partnership. Because now as you take the step forward, after putting in all of this inner work, you are attracting new and improved romantic relationships and intimate partnerships. And let's talk about it. And let's talk about it with no rules, no um, boundaries of the patriarchy, but healthy boundaries, <laughs> healthy boundaries of yourself, but without, um, without shame or censorship upon what your body wants to speak so like we'll get into the spicy messages and um, we're really gonna go through what these relationships mean um, so this is pile number one is the king of swords here with this seashell and then this pile here with the Malachite and Copper Pendant, which is beautiful. Then you have group number two, and you have the King of Cups with this beautiful little seashell that is almost like a thumbprint, and this Labradorite, beautiful piece of Labradorite on this pile. So take your pick, pile one or pile two, and I'll see you there. All right, let's move right into you, pile number one. <laughs> that sounded, that sounded spicy. Okay, um, <laughs> King of Swords here. <sighs> when I saw these two kings, it was speaking of an interesting dynamic. So let's see how the cards came out with this because this mermaid tarot really spurred this reading here so we've got the eight of cups the page of cups the two of cups the five of cups the queen of cups two of wands queen of wands death card king of cups and the Four of Swords. I think that this is talking about a romance. I just am going to move this. I read these intuitively, so let's just let these cards speak for themselves here. Also, the pendant is reminding me of a talisman of the power that a talisman can have and how these gifts we give to one another can truly remind us of who we are throughout time. That may resonate with you. Well, the first thing that I'm seeing here is clarity clarity on what the desire is on going on to the spiritual journey finding some peace of mind you are dreaming here the knight of cups the knight of cups here is dreaming looking into the cup seeing a future seeing a present seeing what is manifesting right in front of them 
about what they deserve. And this is the same cup that the queen is holding, that the page is holding, the two of cups here. There is a journey around this. You know, sometimes you need to walk away from old shattered cups that are no longer fulfilling in order to walk to the two of cups, in order to have the ten of cups. You know, this, sometimes we, we need time to heal, to connect to acknowledging the pain and allowing those parts of yourself that the pain wasn't acknowledged to have their space to grieve but there is a healing it's it's like your body is saying you know bring me back to life i see what i truly desire in partnership there is a deep love where we can connect even from different worlds there's a transition between the worlds we can both be in different worlds but as we go on the spiritual journey we will find one another there through the portal we will reconnect we will connect to the portal through the fire within you this solar plexus divine masculine energy as well as the um sacral chakra the feminine divine flowing energy and you know this balance of the fire and water within the queen of cups and the two of the queen of cups and the queen of wands in between and we have the two of wands you know it's like in the water connected to the water seeing the firing from the volcano and knowing where to go and when you are able to connect with your intuition there is a certainty in the arrow that is being shot in the direction of that point so i wanted to talk a little bit about you know when there is an archer that is shooting an arrow they don't shoot to where they see i keep saying that. um to where they see the target is they aim to where they know the target will be when the arrow strikes and right around the time I'm filming, filming this is the Sagittarius full moon. Um, this energy is timeless and can be, you know, a capsule of this at all times. But it really is like you do not need to think about who you are going to meet, who you're going to run into and who's going to connect with you as long as you are in tune and in full partnership with your body and with your intuition then that will never lead you astray so there is also a message here to allow the dream allow this transcendental connection of romance and intimacy to truly come forth because you deserve that and whatever and and the dreams that you have all these these characters are dreaming and walking away from those who perhaps have different dreams than them and that can be sad in that process of transformation but your first instincts the instincts of your body are here to help you are here to guide you to what feels good and that will always resonate that will always come through as you learn how to meditate and connect to the intuition 
because what this is, is is like being emotionally available with oneself. Being emotionally available with oneself is such an important process of how we learn and how we grow and how we learn how to find discernment because when you have the discernment of who you are and what it is that you desire and you're confident in that dream and not rigid where you allow the flow but confident that what you deserve what you see what you feel is is bringing you through this transformation so even in this heartache or this these sticky messes there is a transformative relationship to oneself that constantly brings you through and this will allow these dreams these dreams in the cups to overflow with abundance and experience experiential realization and um this the fire and the water within you the divine masculine and the divine feminine the balance of these energies within you is what is bringing to you all that you desire and will lead you on the right path on the right path the path of the moon the path of the intuition of the internal fire within your belly and your body is going to give you those sensations your body is going to give you those signs those urges whatever it is but if we have not done the work to um, understand our shadow side and understand um, our emotions in our body and the feelings and what we hold in our body and how to release those those past wounds then we can be very confused and try to weigh things in the mental aspect so much because we're so used to ignoring the body. So it really isn't about, I, uh, my body's not talking to me. It's about, I can't understand what my body's saying because I haven't connected to the dialogue of it. And I think that at me through meditation, through allowing rest and peace in the dream state, and also sometimes, you know, there's some realizations in the dream state that can be hurtful but to give yourself this safe place this safe space and know that as you transform keep your eye on the dreams don't look to the past wounds to the to the spilled cups but look to the two cups there are two cups in the future that are here for you two cups and there is a requirement to turn away from the past wounds because they are there you can you can acknowledge them I do not mean to minimize those pains or ask you to just forget um but what I'm saying is that give those parts of yourself the the acknowledgement that that wasn't what you wanted so that you can move to what you want now because that is here for you that is manifesting and um whatever it is the the body is really craving a peace of mind the ability to dream to know that you can make it through you can make it through this whatever it is that you're going through whatever pain from the past you are heading to a state of overflow of your sexual energy of your vibrant flowing energy of the body responding in really turned on ways that is what's coming to you a lot of coming is coming to you 
um, let's get into these oracle cards because um, I just want to bring these other messages through right now. Prosperity begins. No, <laughs> this is the Ace of Pentacles too. And the Sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Communication. This is like the telepathy of the throat chakra of the high communication of the shadow self. Be fearless. Balance. And patience. And then it, this says billions of us are living in perfect diversity. Others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. And I can replace false premises with law-based premises. And we have a message here that I'm going to save till the end, which just has a little bit of guidance on your situation. So I just want to read from one of these. cards here. I'm going to start with this one. Billions of us are living in perfect diversity. The diversity of your planet is tremendous, is of tremendous value and benefit because from variety springs all new ideas and expansion. Without the diversity, there would be complacency and endedness. You are billions of people living the perfect diversity just as you knew you would, constantly asking for improvement and thereby setting up for the next generation, that improved life experience. If you understood that and no longer clamored for the one right way to live, things would go better for you sooner. Hmm. That's very interesting. And I can replace false premises with law-based premises. There has been a theme unfolding here of replacing flawed premises with law-based premises, and we would like to leave you with a final one. We all make too much of all of this. It is simpler than we all make it out to be. Be easy about it. Be kind to yourself. Do things that feel fun. Look for things that bring you relief. And just easily move into that place, your vortex, where all things that you want have already been lined up for you. Hmm. Others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. You did not intend to use the opinions of others to measure against your beliefs, desires, or actions in order to determine the appropriateness of them. Instead, you knew and still remembered long after you were born that it was the relationship between the opinion or knowledge of the source within you and your current thoughts in any moment that would offer you perfect guidance in the form of your emotional guidance system. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there is a beautiful connection coming through of the true intimacy that you desire and you know maybe we've been taught to look to sorry um there is a, a beautiful red-tailed hawk just circling outside of the window in front of me okay um maybe maybe we have been taught to expect that our relationships our connections should be different than they are right should be different than um maybe what we desire that they should be a certain way that there is a rigid structure upon maybe not showing your shadow self not sh not bringing through your full moral spirit but um i think we are shattering all those expectations and the illusions that there is um, separation and that we, although we each have these strong individual selves, we are constantly communicating 
So your body, your body wants the telepathy. Your body wants two people planting a seed on this earth together in a fearless way of balancing the shadow self, having patience on this journey because we know that it never ends, right? The sun, <laughs> the sun again. Okay. Um, yeah, the sun again. Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, your body is saying those dreams that you have, the, the sex dreams that you have, like the um, energetic orgasmic experiences that you have, those are the right path to finding the intimacy within yourself, finding the intimacy with another. And really it is about going on the path with oneself, but also having those connections that you really, really love the touch of one another. It's not about dissociating to get pleasure because you know that you can give pleasure to yourself always, but it's about, wow, look who I am connecting with. Look at what we can build together, these seeds we can plant. Look how juicy these peaches are. <laughs> the peaches are so juicy and flowing. The, the queen... Uh, <laughs> the queen of wands and the queen of cups like that is flowing and that flows from like connecting with your shadow self being fearless with finding the balance and being patient with yourself too knowing that each step along the way is so important for who you are and what you're creating it really is so beautiful what you are doing and like continue to do the shadow work and try mirror gazing try this con this deep soul soulful connection with touching yourself and then allowing that to be experienced with another but you know when we do have skin to skin contact it's it's very important that that other person is in the same energetic realm as you and that doesn't necessarily mean the same group of people or being technically spiritual or anything this is a vibration and you can sense that and trust your instincts on that because you can find energetically sketchy people and energetically clear people in every place profession, everything, you know, I, I don't think that being spiritual necessary, being quote unquote in a spiritual industry necessarily brings full clarity. <sighs> Your body wants to be able to like, talk to the person that you're with about the changes that you're making in your life about the changes that you're making in your uh in your subconscious mind in working with your shadow self in like yes i want to fuck my shadow self i want to fuck myself i want to fuck my shadow self i want to fuck your shadow self i want to like touch everything on your body i want to like <laughs> bring my tongue up and down every part of your body because i love you I love every part of you and to feel that way about yourself and to feel that way about another who feels that way about you is the most beautiful thing that you can feel and like this what you're imagining in your mind is coming to be so like every time that you think of that person's touch it doesn't have to be a specific person. It is the the hands of your true lover, the hands of the lovers throughout time that you are reconnecting with that are here to help you transform through the sexual acts of intimacy. And like, I just keep getting like the touch of the hands of up the up the stomach to the nipples <laughs> like 
there's such a beautiful sensual energy of like touching the nipples the right way you know what I mean like when the nipples are touched and licked sucked the right way it feels so good right when you are touched in a way that is coming from the energy right the communication the like our hands are working together like my hands are working at in synchronicity with yours like like where you have a lover whose hands are moving across your body in a way that shows you such admiration right such passion and you you receive that you are receiving that because that's because you've been fearless in doing the work with your shadow side so that you are sitting you you are here showing up as this queen of wands queen of cups that is ready to receive all you desire all your wishes coming true specifically for you like there is beauty that is being built here but this is talking about your pleasure <coughs> excuse me the nine of cups the seven of chalice the nine of chalices the seven of chalices the ace of wands this is what you dream of is coming true and as you touch your body and you think about this and you think about what you like you think about that you want a lover who licks every part of you that you want a lover who shows up you know the in who shows up as you dream them to be you know taking their time with you allowing you to feel everything allowing you to feel all of the different versions of the pleasure that they can give you the soft and sweet and delicate pleasure the hard and fast and you know dirty hair pulling raunchy intense like fucking you and then and then going slow again going back and making love to you and like pounding you and then going and kissing and licking and bringing you a whole different other kind of pleasure and this is about you this is about what do you want like allow your freak flag to fly you know like your immortal spirit and purpose and destiny is involved i wouldn't be surprised if you had like a scorpio midheaven um or some sort of other prominent scorpio placements because this energy is about the transformative power of sex of sexual intimacy with other partners and with yourself and how this this will always bring about so much amazing amazing joy and ecstasy in your purpose and you know be patient and this uh, this patience is always is also s looking like, you know, this could be a depiction of like, you could be, you could, uh, you know, you could be older in your life and have spent a long time in your life not fully experiencing the ecstasy that you truly desire. And what I'm, what I'm getting here is that it's, it's here for you now. It's, it's unfolding for you now. It's never too late you know and sometimes the and actually I think that when something when you when you wait for something to go through a spiritual journey and truly find those desires it is totally worth the wait because it is like the build-up of 
the vortex of that creation is so strong and so powerful and it is unstoppable. You are unstoppable. I'm going to get um, just a little astro dice and then we'll conclude this reading. Okay, the 10th house, yeah, um, <laughs> okay, oh my god, yeah. 10th house, Uranus, and Virgo on the shadow self, okay. There, the prosperity begins and having the 10th house is really telling me that so much of your orgasm is connected to um, like unleashing the flow for all that you want to create in your life, in your business, in your prosperity, in, your, in grounding yourself and expressing yourself with your purpose. It really is about like going in and being meticulous with the love that you give your shadow self and allowing the expansiveness of your dreams like those dreams are <laughs> you like, like I keep getting brought back to brought back to these uh to these cups here um yeah to these cups here your dreams are so powerful and what you dream of what you daydream of like that is so fucking powerful think about all of those desires of those loves throughout time you know listen to the listen to those raunchy messages this might not be as 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 dirty as you desired here but this is you know this is a psychological psychological sex reading what can i tell you i'm a scorpio moon in the 11th house okay so <laughs> There is no stopping you as you dream, as you dream and manifest while you come, while you connect with those in the telepathic realm. Like, you know, if you feel comfortable with this, call in the archangels and, you know, find that protection and really be comfortable with your spirit guides and say, you know, like, bring through my loving energy to make me come. And that's, and you know, and then really feel those sensations with yourself. And you're, and as you can feel them with yourself, you're gonna feel safer with the lovers. And you know, when, when somebody's on your level, you will feel it, you will feel it, okay? You will flow like a waterfall volcano, okay? <sighs> okay, so. We have number 11, the sacred scar from the white light oracle. And I just want to read this quick message because um, it gives me so much really amazing insight when I connect with these messages. Number 11, the sacred scar. Your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. They are signs of strength and survival, of your willingness to be alive. The sacred scar speaks of that which one ca once caused pain being transformed into higher knowledge and inner power. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual initiation, leading you from woundedness to wisdom. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your healing process and in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do, you are strong and you shall flourish on all levels. Hmm. That is really beautiful. I'm just going to hold this open here so that you can take a screenshot if you'd like. Pile number one, you have been through a lot, I can tell. Your perseverance and your patience on cultivating your own inner power is paying off big time. 
Do not feel that you need to hide yourself as you connect with a lover because your raw, untamed, wild authenticity is what is attracting your true soul family, your true soul lovers throughout time that are coming here back to you to give you all that you deserve. Remember that. Sending you all the love in the world. Thank you so much for being here. If this resonated with you, um, you know, let me know. I really appreciate all the support as my channel is growing. Thank you so much. You can get a personal reading on my website, daylighthealing.com. Thank you, pal number one. Bye. Hmm. <coughs> Going into pile number two. Going into pile number two. Okay. Hi, pile number two. Hi, this is Day. <laughs> Back again. Here we go. Pile number two. If you chose the King of Cups and this seashell and the Labradorite and this pile, then this is your message here. So we've had some really beautiful healing messages coming in and I'm really excited to see what comes through for your reading now. Make sure to hydrate, you know, uh, in the last pile, I was getting all of these messages of like the flow of energy. And one thing that keeps, that always reminds me of this is that the flow of energies really are so connected to our body and to what we feel. And, you know, water is our life force, right? Water is our life force energy. So this Labradorite, I love how shiny it is, but it's cracked, right? There has been a lot that it's gone through, but it is still so beautiful and so shiny and, you know, really effervescent, bringing about a lot of beauty, a lot of love and light and change, right? Um... I'm bringing about these tarot cards here. I don't know. Spirit just told me to shuffle them a little bit. Six of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. The Four of Cups. The Eight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords, the Hermit, and the Five of Wands. Well, what do I see here? Wow. Pile two, I see a very deep emotional well that perhaps has not been tapped into for a very long time that perhaps has been guarded the inner well you know being guarded for a very long time that is what I'm seeing but I think that that sometimes that's exactly what you need to do to get through certain situations. So do not be so hard on yourself. <laughs> I know that that is easier said than done, right? So what do I see here? Well, what is really catching my eye is this Eight of Swords character here. 
because they have this blade within their between their teeth where they can get out of this tricky situation anytime they want. It's really been a buildup of a lot of mental energy because I think it, in a world where we're taught to really guard our inner world, guard our inner world and sort of put up a battle when it comes to the connections, right? That can be pretty, that, that can end up leaving us really, really wounded, right? Um, at trying to act cool, trying to, you know, just always say that you have your emotions stuffed down. Almost when we stuff down our emotions, then we can no longer see or feel what it is that we are truly desiring. But as you learn to ground those emotions into the world, you are here flourishing as this, excuse me, this dreamer who brings about a lot of beautiful change, who has learned to truly value themselves because, because of all you've been through, because you did, you might have had to, you know, get away quickly from bad situations, but your body is grateful for how you've stood up for yourself you've continued to go within to find the light you know that maybe you were taught to maybe there was a reason why you held those emotions in because it was it felt safer at a time but now there is this inner part of yourself that's looking at you trying to get your attention to let you know that whatever whatever situations you're in right now that you want to get out of you have the ability to get out of it the universe is working with you co-creating what you dream of and as you embody this the universe will do this work for you of Standing up for the healing, getting you to this, the end of the rainbow, getting you to where, where you feel supported, where you do not feel alone. Because there is a reason why there is such a deep well of emotions and it does have to do with, yes, a lot of pain. But you are so blessed and so loved in this entire process and I want you to remember that. Your body wants you to go out to nature a little bit more, you know, sit on the ground. There's a lot of like darkness like the dark room of the emotions of going within so long trying to get out of these situations where you almost end up being at a standstill within your mind because it's just too much to go back and think about right because it makes you feel lost within the mind but these we're here for you to learn and release. And I'm so sorry if, or whatever it 
whatever world you are getting out of that has been so painful. I'm so sorry for that. Um, and I don't mean to minimize that at all. Uh, like all of your experiences deserve to be acknowledged. There can be a lot of secretive energy when it comes to intimacy in this world, um, especially when it has to do with certain, um, you know, certain connections that might not want to be um, in the mainstream of what the society around you expects. And that can be really painful when... Um, when you're a beautiful, beautiful, loving soul who triggers the wounds in others, right? There is a new world here for you. There is a transformation. There is an alchemization. There is this new light, fun, loving energy that is coming in for you. And as you're doing these, this inner work, as you're going within, the parts of yourself that you're learning to like that are learning to fight and stand fight for what you desire right to stand up for yourself and i don't mean this in a in a completely physical way i i mean like standing up and you know going after what it is that you want as you learn to do that and sort of accept only what it is that truly lights you up because you know that you can light yourself up right within and so if something's not going to come to you and add that then are they worth your time um that's a completely valid point. But also, sometimes when we have emotional pain that comes through for a long time, that becomes this shell. I see that I'm seeing like the Cancer Scorpio shell of like those with such deep emotions. Um. The Piscean shell of almost like, oh, I'm this like barrier that makes no sense and it'll get lost within me. Um, where sometimes we can have such a shell up that we almost hold ourselves back from seeing the good that is available because. You know, you can be so used to really experiencing this being stabbed in the back, really experiencing those painful emotions from people. But trust that as, that the inner work that you've done on yourself is enough to have changed your outside experience. That maybe when these people are coming and offering these cups, it is the universe giving you a gift and that love can feel good love can be stable grounded in in a real physical environment because so much of these swords are like reminding me of like the internet and all of the shallowness of online dating and the confusion and just and the disappointment um but as you've just said like you know what i'm just not gonna try to seek out anything anymore i'm going to look within I mean, I collaborate, I'm going to do my work with the universe, wherever that is, so that wherever the universe leads me, I go to the end of the rainbow, you know, I find this, I find my queen, my king, you know, um, I find the glorious, nurturing, 
um, grounded energy that I desire. Okay, let's get, um, I'm going to pull some Oracle cards here. Let's clear these tarot cards and then we'll get some Oracle cards and then we'll get into our, you know, naked tarot. <laughs> so we've got material and spiritual prosperity. Personal power, number 13. Number six, we've got the third house. Your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. Hmm. Mother Earth, number 22. Self-worth, number 27. Mirrored souls, number 21. Hope, number 16. <sighs> then we have these messages from the vortex of the relationships and the law of attraction. Relationships I don't want clarify those I do want. Feeling negative emotions means I'm launching requests and I intend to see the best in everyone. Whenever you know what you do not want, you always know more clearly what you do want. So in any poignant moment of awareness of another person's undesirable situation, give your undivided attention to the idea of improvement that is hatched from your interaction and her observation. As you learn to do that, not only will you be of increasing value to others, but you will see how your relationships with others add immeasurably to your own becoming. As more people observe hardship and strike a tense, resistant pose, and therefore disallow their own well-being, other others use them as their reason to do the same. And in a very short time, a very negative pattern of resistance can sweep through your population. The good news is this scenario is that in every moment, Every person is feeling a negative emotion about the econ economic state. Vibrational requests for more abundance are launched, and those requests are heard clearly and responded to immediately by source. <laughs> you can never consistently motivate anybody to anything, but when you see the best of them and you go over to where your version of the best of them is, and you align with that, and offer one signal. Now you are part of the inspiration you see. Have you ever had that experience yourself when someone sees you and loves you and expects the best of you? Do you not shine in ways that you never shined before? And do you not find it really hard to shine when others do, do, do not look for the best in you? Wow. That's really beautiful pile number two. Mirrored souls. Yeah, what is your body saying? Your body is saying that they want this mirror relationship of looking towards positive emotions, of deciding to, uh, you know, hold this personal power within us, to hope even through tower moments, and to know and, dis and you know, be determined about realizing and actualizing the experience of the material and spiritual prosperity that you know you deserve on this earthly plane. And this is going to be seen in your physical relationships as well as your community, as well as your daily life. You know, this is part of, whoa, sorry. All right, this is part of your of your evolutionary process is finding relationships where you can, uh, that give you um, the good feelings that you desire. And sometimes people who we find in our mirrors, um, you know, are only available to show up in certain ways for us 
but you know can we find the gratitude and the um the grace of allowing the transformation and allowing that time to happen so um let's get uh let's get some tarot messages I'm seeing that the Mother Earth here is really, really happy about what is happening here with the, the resurgence of true divine connections. Um, I don't think that they ever really went away. I think that, you know, all of us who feel a desire in this way I mean there is a reason there's a reason why the um, the most popular stories are of these heroes journeys finding their true love and their personal power within right so what is your body saying about about what they need and how they will let you know the pleasure that they desire. Well, I see that it's really going to be about the timelessness of the connections that you that you want like okay so first of all like um you can get a little kinky we have the sun again um that came out in pile number one uh <laughs> first of all take the chances that you might be afraid are gonna break your heart take the chances because going after it you know having those experiences are the only way that we can really know um allow yourself to be given to like allow yourself to be you take it on dates but also like the fire of the sensuous energy between you and another really can be cultivated in such a beautiful way and um like I'm seeing this like they're outside also like this warrior just put down their sword um like your intimate relationships are not supposed to be somewhere where the battles happen they are where the healing happens so if there's communication that feels harsh, you can you can allow the discomfort of the experience of like, wow, that's not <sighs> that's not how I want to be treated. But also, it doesn't need to be, like, what you stay with. Like, I don't know if that made any sense. Um, the, uh, I, I just am seeing that it, the sexual relationships want to be a refuge for you. Um, so, like, you can take those chances. Take the chances that... Um, you know, maybe it might put you out of your comfort zone a little bit, like starting something new and like going after and making those choices and like, you know, exposing your true self a little bit and allowing, um, allowing those guards to be down a little bit. But, the, um, but that doesn't mean that. Oh, hi. 
Little kitty. Hi, Noodle. I'm just filming a video. I'll be done in a couple minutes. Um. <laughs> Okay, so Noodle's telling me, like, get into just the touching. Okay, so you have the Three of Swords here, and, like, sometimes what we feel, sometimes, like, we really do need to feel it, you know? We gotta, f we've gotta feel, like, that real intense emotions around somebody, but that can also be scary, right? When you've had your heart hurt before in the past. But what I'm seeing is that as you go on this journey of connecting to your true personal power, this is what's required. It's almost like this uh, mirrored authenticity of what you experience physically and with intimate partners needs to be in within the same energetic accountability as your entire growth process, right? So that, so that involves like putting ourselves out there, like allowing, allowing, allowing ourselves to really like feel and bring these experiences into something that could possibly hurt us. Because I mean, if we don't open ourselves up to the ecstasy of the experience, then, um, then there is some sort of desensitization desensitized um emotion and uh physical intimacy and what i keep seeing is that your body wants reciprocal partnership your body wants someone who's going to go down on you your body wants someone who's going to like touch every part every part of your skin and show you the love that you deserve because every part of you deserves that love and you know if you're if you're in a partnership where you're creating this mirrored connection with one another of like showing your true selves then you should be able to talk about like what you desire or really show how that how those emotions make you feel um, to one another. Hey, little bean girl. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, now that I have cat hair all over me, <laughs> I brush her all the time too, but it's shedding season. Okay, so... Pile number two, this is what I have for you here. Um, I am seeing quite kinkiness. So I'm saying like, you know, you can do rounds, like go and connect with the people who aren't hiding their true deep inner emotions. Um, I think that now that you've been doing the work to not hide so much of your deep inner emotions to, you know, work with those, but really like cultivate the groundedness of who you are, that now you're going to experience that with others. So let's get some astrology dice. Cancer, the fourth house, and um, Venus. Okay, and we have the sign of Cancer in Venus. And Venus is in Cancer right now as I'm filming this. So um, that's really that's really interesting. Um, I'm seeing you have the fourth house as well, which is ruled by the sign of Cancer. So there is a lot of beautiful prosperity of like the connections that you're making of like this intimacy this intimate relationship that you're building here that feels good for you you are building a strong foundation that is going to blossom and bloom and this year right now as i'm filming it 2023 to 2024 of may jupiter is in taurus so this is the perfect time to blossom all of this um 
the spark that you feel after you've done your healing and you are clear with your emotional states. This doesn't mean it being perfect all the time, but you know, understanding how our mind affects our feelings and our experiences, right? Our attachment patterns. Um, you can trust, you can trust that this spark that you feel, that these, these feel, that these intuitive knowings of your body, of the mirrored connections, the hope you've had about knowing what it is that you truly deserve to experience here in your daily life, in your community. This is reciprocal partnership. <sighs> Getting you away from the battles of the mind between others. This is, this is about real physical intimacy. And you don't need to be separate in the mind while connecting with the body anymore. The true orgasms that come with you in this new process are allowing you to create this life. And that that is involved in every little touch in knowing that you that like every little graze of the leg with another as you um, bring about this friction. You deserve all of this. And you have brought this to yourself. And if you're in this place where you're not experiencing this yet, it's coming to you right around the corner. I have one uh, message from the White Light Oracle of the Pearl of Sharo, number 35. I just want to read this quick message that always seems to bring me exactly what I want to hear. Just this little paragraph. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening, for you are a precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. Wow. Okay, I'm going to just hold this here so you can screenshot this healing process and message if you'd like. One final message that's coming through here is that there may have been some harsh words, harsh battles of the mind in places where these are in places where the people that were these were the people that were supposed to be there for you, stand up for you, celebrate you. you are no longer going to submit to that or allow that. And because of that, be, because of all of this growth that you have done, you can release the disappointments from the path, from the past. You got out, Six of Swords again coming out. You got out and sometimes getting out it means you have to like tape the boat together and just work with what you've got. But now here you are. And the more you work on yourself and connect with this personal power of what, of knowing your self worth, that is what comes to you in mirrored experience. And you can trust that that is what the universe is giving to you. That is what is showing up for you. You can trust your discernment and you can trust the universe to bring you the pleasure that you truly greatly desire and deserve. 
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, pile number two. That was your message. Um, if this resonated with you, if you liked it, uh, comment down below. Uh, I really appreciate all your support here as I grow this channel. So thank you so much for your help. It really means a lot. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can click the link down below or go to daylighthealing.com. And uh, that's all I got for you today. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Bye.